Hi everyone and welcome to episode 15 of Coloring Outside the Box and it's time for my monthly Star Trek forecast where we take a look at the coming energies for uh, the, the sun moving through Libra. So I'm feeling a little bit tongue-tied today and I'm not really sure why that is. Anyway, so here we are, just some general thoughts about uh, what it's going to be like. So when the sun moves into Libra, it's our, it's our annual uh, opportunity to take a look at what's the difference between love and approval and is there a difference. Just let that sink in for a second because often we really do believe that and we have come to believe that relationships are all about making other people happy. And of course that doesn't really work. So anyway, so here we are and of course that energy is going to be front and center especially since this year there's been a lot of energy around freedom, what works for people, that doesn't work for me. And this is gonna get amplified once again as the sun moves into Libra and brings us in contact once again with all those energies. And so let's, just, just to remind you that my Star Trek forecast begins with moonbeams, which is looking at the full and the new moon. Because of course this month, once again, the full moon comes before the new moon. And then we move on to twinkles, which are the things you can look to uh, inspire you to, uh, in essence, lighten the load. Then we move to black holes, which are the challenges we're facing this month. And then deep space, you know, the things we can do to grow from the inside and to help our, us find pathways to new and better ways to live our lives and I really wish I hadn't used the word better but there you go. Anyway, uh, as you can see I like to edit myself as I go along. So let's begin with the full moon. So the full moon this month is in Aries which brings us face to face with what I call them versus me because the sun's in Libra which we of often think of as other people because Libras have difficulties and as the sun goes through Libra, we can find ourselves in spaces and places where we have difficulty acknowledging ourselves over other people. So we're gonna be feeling during this full moon, a lot of frustrations, partly because the moon is, it is connected to that retrograde Mars and Mars is about action. And when Mars is retrograde, it feels like ain't nothing happening in any quick order. So you put the moon in Aries and it's kind of like, well, can't we get this, can't we get this thing started again? Can't we keep moving? And yet it, it's not going to be an easy task. And the opportunity exists, pardon me while I take a look at my notes, to clear any outstanding issues around power and who has it. That's been a theme for much of this year. If you look around in, in all aspects of life, it plays out, whether it's in your personal life every day and you feel like you don't even have power over your dishwasher when it won't work. It can be a time when we are easily frustrated by the smallest things. So just be aware that if you're feeling like that as a, as a result of that full moon, just acknowledge that it's true don't be hard on yourself just recognize it's true and and maybe ask yourself a couple of questions about what's going on on a deeper level and and what your dishwasher not working actually symbolizes to you this can also of course play out in relationships with others and with yourself because one of the challenges of the sun in libra is to recognize that the most important relationship you have is the one that you have with yourself Okay, so let's move on to the new moon. And I just wanted to say one more thing about that full moon. It's a time to be accountable for the role that you play in all of your relationships and, and in your life. This particular full moon is gonna ask a lot of us. Because, you know, again, we feel like one foot is on the brake and the other foot's on the gas pedal and you know one minute everything can be moving really quickly and the next minute it feels like 
you've been stuck in reverse forever and ever and ever. Okay, so let's move on to the new moon. Now, this is going to be a chance to create a new beginning in your relationship with yourself and the rest of the world. So it's the opposite of what's happening during the full moon where you have to confront all of what you consider to be outside factors. This is when you begin to work with what's inside you. And you can set a new standard and plant the seeds for that new standard. Because we do need to create some new structures, new standards, and new approaches to how we live life uh, in its totality. But as the sun goes through Libra, it's a lot about connecting to others, uh, not, not just your significant other relationship, just not your family. There's also a call to look at your relationship with the world. Okay, uh, sounds simple. Never mean to imply that anything is simple, which of course leads us to twinkles. Uh, and so this month, where do we turn for inspiration or just a, a little bit of a break from what seem to be never in ending and overwhelming demands? So simplify things as much as you possibly can. Because things are shifting and changing so quickly, it's important not to make things more complicated than they have to be. Now, as we move, as, as the sun moved into Libra today, the, sun, the Venus, which is the boss, what I like to call the boss, or your av the avatar of Libra, is all about peace and harmony. And as, as we begin this journey through Libra, she's in Leo, which is the sign uh, that we often connect uh, as much with love as we do Libra. And so, you know, you can, you're going to be feeling a little bit warm and fuzzy and romantic. And then in about two or three days time, Venus were, moves into the sign of Virgo. And when, when, so once it moves into Virgo, which is where it's going to be for the rest of our trip through Libra, it will be, that's where the simplify things comes from. It means, you know, sort of, don't try to make things more complicated. The world is complex enough. So every day, you know, say, you know, we're talking about feeling overwhelmed and antsy and anxious and angry and frustrated. And I said, it's, you know, be aware of how you feel. However, this is the part, if you want to add some uh, lightness to your life, you need to focus on the things over which you can take charge. I don't mean ignore the world or avoid the world or avoid things that are challenging you. It has to do with finding solutions that take you to a place where you strip away uh, all of the things that you could pull towards you to make things more complicated. So let's go back to the dishwasher analogy. So, you know, you could make things more complicated by trying to fix it yourself, or you could just call someone. So what are the pathways with, with that Venus and Virgo that are gonna help life work effectively for you? Because that will create enough space for you to feel like you're not, um, you know, being, you know, I, I always get the image of, uh, and I'm gonna refer to Star Wars, and I don't remember which one it was, but it was one of the first three ones. I think it was the second one um, where Princess Leia and Luke and I can't remember who else are in, in this garbage, really large garbage compactor. And really life has felt a lot like that this year. And so, you know, as that process gets triggered again this month, which it will, it is important to find the solution that will keep you from getting squished. And that's part of twinkles. You know, sometimes I think that, you know, I, I, I have to tell you that every once in a while I think, why did I call it twinkles? Until I realize we make our own twinkles. So I'm giving you the, you know, the opportunity to understand how to create that, that sense of, of 
all is well in my world. And maybe it's only okay for a minute, uh, an hour, a day, a week. But right now, what we really need to do is to build on those moments as opposed to getting lost in the stuff that's you know going on on a on a global basis you know i really uh, i've always resonated with with uh, and i'm probably paraphrasing uh something from the i ching that says you cannot change the world unless you're prepared to change yourself and this is very much a theme this month so what would happen if we all found a way to to create uh, the, a, a sense of strength in our own worlds, a sense that we know what we're doing. And, and, and this is the part where you may, you can't necessarily worry about what everybody else is doing. Okay, so moving on to black holes. Pretty evocative this month, I must say. Uh, so let me change pages. There are going to be challenges, issues, and conflicts about how to integrate the need for connection, the need for self-determination, and the need for accountability. This can be a month when the chickens really come home to roost. If you're trying to compartmentalize things to the point of um, distraction. So one of the challenges we face this year and continue to face is we keep on trying to control something, anything. And it's led us to uh, all kinds of, you know, I want to say temper tantrums, uh, resistances. And because, you know, part of the challenge we face is recognizing Accepting something is not the same as liking it. So we can acknowledge ourselves and know that we don't like what's happening, but sometimes we just have to accept that it's the truth. Because once we do that, and, and you can continue to not like it as you accept it, it's not a case of either or. We often get caught in that either or because we live in, in, a, in duality. But how are we going to let, I mean, it doesn't mean the duality is going to disappear, but we do need to find an a way to integrate that. And often I really think that Libra is about integration as much as it's about balance, because, you know, and this is the challenge as we move through Libra is to understand that balance, unless, depending on how you define it, and most people define it as 50-50, I think of the teeter-totter. So how, you know, as you've got two people on a teeter-totter, how long do things actually stay in balance? That's not really the way the world works. So how do you integrate things moving up and down and up and down? And I really think that that's what Libra is about as much as anything, at least on a deeper level. So take a moment to, you know, review how, you know, what connection means to you, what self-determination means to you, and what accountability means to you. Those are important questions to ask this month. And sometimes we can ask a question about one aspect of ourselves without recognizing how connected it is to everything else. One of the reasons why we're going to feel that frustration this month is because, you know, we we really essentially in the early part of our journey through Libra hit the full moon. So there's that pull between me and you and you and me. And that can be you and one person. It can be you and the world. And it could be you versus you. So don't be surprised if you find yourself pulling yourself in two different directions. Okay, so uh, finally, we are at uh, deep space. Uh, yeah, every once in a while, I just look at why I name things the way that I did and 
when anyways never mind see i'm having an internal conversation while i'm talking to you <laughs> anyway so here we are so what what can we do this this month to expand our inner reality to go deeper into ourselves to become healthier human being so this month is really knowing you can make meaningful meaningful change by paying attention to simple things the nuances of how you think and what you do because we all have habits and part of what venus and virgo can help us do is take a look at what those habits are you know we can re you know we can on one level um for want of a better expression let's say um you can tell someone, oh, yeah, well, uh, I'm trying to think of an example that would actually work and what keeps on coming up is tomato soup. I don't know why, because I'm not really sure what that's about. So, okay, I, maybe that's because I'm going to talk a little bit about my dad, who, who uh, really didn't like tomatoes, really didn't like them at all. But he would eat ketchup and he would eat tomato soup. And he didn't really, he didn't really see what the dichotomy was, and it really what it eventually what it came down to is he realized he just didn't like the texture. It wasn't that he didn't like the taste. So I got a little lost in that, and now I'm trying to find my way back to the point I was trying to make. Um, yeah, but that was that shows you he didn't think about why that didn't make any sense to him until he figured out why it didn't make sense. So, you know, uh, often we can think one way and act another. And I guess that's what I'm really talking about. You can think one way and act another. So my dad said he didn't like tomatoes, but on another level, he ate them just fine. We all have those, those things that seem counterintuitive the way we think and the way we feel. The way we think and the choices we make. So right now there's a real opportunity to, to find more congruity if you, if you discover inside yourself that you have these kinds of um, things that make you wonder, how is, how is it that I think this way but feel that way or vice versa so this is not for the purpose of zeroing in on any perceived inadequacies because that's part of the challenge of virgo and of course when the sun is in libra and venus is in virgo it's kind of like melding the two together so the challenge becomes knowing that if you see that something isn't working well in your life it's not about turning that knowledge into a baseball bat with which you can beat yourself up it's for the purpose of refining who you are and perhaps where you're going so you can know yourself better and so you can function in in a way that is more congruent because we don't realize that when we're not congruent with ourselves, never mind anybody else, which of course is the other challenge of Libra, could you be congruent with us? This is not a time for conformity, this period in human history. This is a time for being clear who you are at the same time that you care about your community. Whatever that word means to you. We humans always want to make things about either or. And when we get to the sign of Libra, it becomes so much more intense. Because in astrology, the signs of Aries and Libra are opposite each other, and they're all about me, Aries, them, Libra, instead of realizing, you know, for each individual on the planet, 
He came onto the planet at a particular time and place. And the energies of that moment are your toolkit. They're part of who you are. They aren't who you are because you can use that toolkit in in many, many different ways. If astrology has taught me anything. It's the length, the breadth, the wealth of energy available to each of us as human beings. And we all have a choice as to how we want to use those energies. So this month promises to be an interesting, I just got a picture of a roller coaster in my head, uh, an interesting ride, but so much opportunity for growth, so much opportunity to, to choose hope over fear. Because let's face it, we're all pretty fearful. That's why the twinkles aspect of this forecast is important. Really, the message is do what you can do. Strengthen yourself. And that will outfit you for whatever comes down the pike. Anyway. I want to thank you as always for joining me uh, and I hope that your trip through Libra brings you joy and satisfaction and uh, a sense, a deepening sense of your own gifts and your own talents. So uh, from me to you, much love, take care, bye-bye.